Hi everyone, welcome to this K9 Health Webinar. Thank you to Jessica Crate for asking me to uh, be on to tell everyone a little bit about K9 Health. She's doing a great job by hosting these weekly webinars, having different guests on, talking about all the various products that LifeVantage has to offer, and she asked me to speak a little bit on K9 Health, so I'm very thankful to her for um, asking me to do this, and hopefully this will provide some good information for you all out there as you're sharing the products and, um, and talking to different people about what these uh, amazing products do. And so I am, my name is Allison Parnes, and I am a veterinarian. I have been practicing for the last 14 years in the Atlanta area, graduated from the University of Georgia in 2002, and went on to do a uh, small animal internship in medicine and surgery at Georgia Veterinary Specialists and then got my certification in acupuncture back in 2012. So currently I work in an emergency practice as well as a, a general practice. And I do some work with the Humane Society and help them with their spays and neuters and surgeries. And then I also have an acupuncture practice. So um, very diverse um, work that I do within the veterinary field, but I love it and I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. I am also a mom and a wife. I've been married to my husband, Mike, for 16 years. We have two boys, um, Zion and Donovan, who are nine and 12. Just skip to that slide. That's them, it's my family. Um, I have two dogs, a husky in a lab, and then I have two cats, my one cat, um, is a scaredy cat, so I can hardly ever get any pictures of him, so he's not up here. But as you can imagine, we're very busy, busy, busy. Um, and so tonight, you know, I'm just going to share my story about how I came to know about LifeVantage and um, why I'm so excited about it, and then educate you a little bit on the science um, and what canine health does for our pets. So about six years ago, um, I became really interested in alternative medicine. I was working in a general practice um, at the time, and I was really just kind of um, getting discouraged. I was having a lot of clients coming in with their dogs um, who were older, sort of in the end stages of life. We're having a lot of quality of life discussions, and patients that were maxed out on medications for pain and people just not ready to make that decision to let them go and asking me if there was anything more we could do for them. And I just really didn't have a great answer. And it was just a, a very frustrating place to be in. You know, I just felt like there should be more we could do. And I just didn't have that knowledge. Um, so I was also, at the time, diagnosing a ton of cancer in dogs. Um, probably three to four cases a week was a norm, and it was in dogs of all ages. And that was really scary. And, you know, the most common thing that people would say to, or ask is, what could I, could I have done to prevent this? And my answer was always, there was really, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> you know, it's unfortunately the world we live in. I mean, cancer is rampant in people and children. And you know, it's just sad. It's just really a, a state of our environment in most cases. And so, um, you know, then I had people that would come in and just dump supplements on the counter and ask me if this was safe for their dog to give, give to them. And, you know, a lot of times I would look through there and I didn't really know what some of these things were. I didn't know if they were safe. Um, and so I just really couldn't offer them any great suggestions in terms of herbal medicine. Um, so I was really looking and searching and open to learning more uh, because I was seeing the need from my clients and, you know, and wanting to be able to give them better information. I was also kind of going through uh, a very serious situation with my family. Um, in 2009, both of my sons were diagnosed with a kidney disease. And my oldest son, once we found out, progressed very rapidly. and went into kidney failure when he was six years old and had a transplant when he was seven. And my youngest son was diagnosed as well. And they told me there was really no cure, uh, no treatments that they could offer. And that just to really prepare 
you know, myself that he would have, he would probably go into kidney failure around the same age as my oldest son. So they really left us with no options in terms of treatment. So as you can imagine, kind of going through what, you know, I'm seeing in my, my career and my veterinary practice, and then also having this happen to my family, um, my mind was completely open to researching alternative medicine and um, herbal therapies. So my first step was uh, actually I decided to take an acupuncture course, get training in that, and then I became certified in veterinary acupuncture in 2012 and was introduced to a number of different, um, you know, a little bit of herbal medicine in, in that training course and definitely opened my mind to some other treatments that, that were available for both my patients and possibly my, my children. And about a year and a half ago um, was when my best friend from vet school, Sheridan Pate, called me and she was living on Oahu at the time practicing integrative medicine. Um, she also does acupuncture, so she sees a lot of the older patients that I do, a lot of chronic pain um, patients. And she called me one day and asked me if I'd ever heard of Protandum or Canine Health, and I said no. And um, she said, well, I really think I found a way for us to help our patients. And she said, I want you to watch this ABC primetime video um, that was done on ProTandem back in 2005 and then go to PubMed and, and there's all these studies. You can read the studies. And so um, I did that and I, you know, was just blown away by the research that I saw um, on PubMed on ProTandem. And I, as I'm reading some of these studies, I'm thinking, well, yeah, this looks awesome, you know, for not only my patients, but possibly my son who's still, you know, dealing with this kidney disease and my mom who's got all kinds of other health issues. And I thought, you know, this is something that, that I would really like to, to try and, you know, to have my family and on and try, you know, a couple of patients on this. So I decided to um, start my son on it, my mom and two of my patients that, um, we're both dealing with a lot of chronic health issues and pain and mobility problems. And I was just absolutely blown away by the results. Um, in a very short period of time, saw dramatic changes in my son's lab work, um, dramatic changes in my patient's mobility um, for the better. And to the point where, you know, eventually we were able to wean one of my patients completely off of pain medication. My mom had some really great results um, as well. And so I was just all in when I saw that, you know, I really needed to see that proof that um, it was working and, and seeing the science behind it too, for me was just key because, you know, I really need to understand what I'm giving to my patients, what I'm recommending. And I want to you know, be able to back those things up. And if I'm, especially if I'm going to put my name behind it as a doctor um, you know, and give it to my children. I wanted to make sure this was absolutely bulletproof. And so once I um, saw what I needed to see and, and did a lot of research, you know, really, it was a no brainer for me. Um, I got into the business really, um, in the beginning, just to be able to provide the product to my patients at the clinics I was working at. Um, but you know, it has definitely turned into a lot more um, and blessed our family tremendously. So tonight what I'm going to do is just um, get into a little bit of the science um, and really tell you what this is and how it works and how I can help our pets. So the first thing I want to start with is oxidative stress. And, you know, some people hear that word and uh, think, oh, you know, it's, it means you're stressed out. <laughs> and um, oxidative stress, really, it is a stress, but it's a stress on, at a cellular level. And basically what it is, is when you, you breathe, when you eat, when you drink, pretty much any, any time you're utilizing oxygen, you're burning oxygen, and, and it's creating these free radicals in your body. And free radicals are unstable molecules. They go around attacking your cells, trying to become stable by stealing electrons from, uh, from other cells, and it causes cellular damage. Our bodies fight back um, with a system of enzymes, um, but as we get older, those enzymes decrease. And when that happens, you have this buildup of free radicals in the body, 
and that causes cellular destruction and it is also the reason we age. So you can see that normal cell there and over time what happens to that cell as a result of oxidative stress. It's the same process as browning of the apple and the same process as rusting of metal. And this has actually been calculated that the average person burns or produces 300 sextillion free radicals every single day. So it's an absolute huge, huge number. And, you know, so once that builds up, um, you know, we really need an effective way to be able to lower that. And so how do we fight oxidative stress and free radical damage? Well, there are two ways. There are the direct antioxidants, which are your juices, your fruits, and your vitamins, um, your red wine, chocolate, blueberries, everything you can really think of that's out there on the market and you know your vitamin C, your vitamin E, and these are direct antioxidants. You take them um, and they work on a one-to-one -one ratio. One vitamin E will neutralize one free radical. Our other way to combat oxidative stress is through our own natural enzymes, and these are known as indirect antioxidants or endogenous antioxidants, and these are the enzymes that our body makes, so SOD, superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione are the three big ones. There are more. Um, but these scavenge free radicals by the mil a million per second. And so you can see when you're, you're talking about a huge difference here, and when you're talking about you know, working on the 300 sextillion number, you know, do you want to have something that's fighting them one to one or one to one million? So obviously our enzymes work much better than anything that we can take exogenously like our, you know, vitamin E, vitamin C supplements. Um, so this is what's so great about protanum is that protanum is not an antioxidant. It's not uh, one of those indirect antioxidants. What it is is it's an herbal formula. It's made up of five herbs, which we'll get into. And these herbs stimulate a pathway in our body called NRF2. And this NRF2 pathway actually um, triggers our, communicates with our DNA, and it causes us to start producing our antioxidant enzymes in high numbers. And so as these enzymes are being kicked out, they are scavenging those, you know, one million free radicals a second. Um, and that is how we get this huge reduction in oxidative stress. So protanum was proven in a human clinical trial that in 30 days of a person taking it, it reduces oxidative stress by 40%. So this is a huge, huge deal. It's the only thing that's ever been proven to do this um, that's all natural and safe. Um, it has the peer-reviewed science, um, it has the NSF seal, and it's also B BSCG certified for professional athletes. So it's an incredible product, really a category-creating product um, on the fight against oxidative stress. It's made up of these five herbs. We've got milk thistle, which is very powerful, uh, liver cleanser, detoxifier. There's bacopa, ashwagandha, green tea extract, and turmeric. All five of these are, are known as superfoods. They're all very powerful by themselves, but it's the way that the extracts have been combined in protanum that makes them so powerful in terms of activating this NRF2 pathway. And so taking these herbs in any combination or just taking one or two of them, you're not going to get the same effect. So taking the five together in protanum, this, the ratio that it's in, will actually make it 18 times more potent than if you were to tweak it at all and, you know, eliminate one of these herbs um, or take it in your own dosing. So because they were able to show um, that it's this specific synergistic blend, um, they were able to get nine patents on the company. Um, this one says four, but there are nine patents now. So, you know, you really can't patent a plant. You really can't patent things that don't work. Um, so this is really, you know, pretty amazing. They were able to, to get this many patents on a natural product. So as I mentioned, it does work through this NRF2 activation, um, again, just instructing our cells to make more of these enzymes to protect our bodies. I won't get into really all the science, uh, I don't think we'll have time. Um, but this was a really amazing paper that came out of Washington State University, and this was in the conclusion to talk about NRF2. Just to tell you how really powerful it is, um, it says we may be on the verge of a new literature on health effects of NRF2 
which may well become the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. So that's a pretty powerful statement. Um, you know, one that, that I think we really need to take seriously and that's something that is really changing the face of health and wellness as we know it today is the research that's going into this NRF2 technology. Um, so let's get into canine health. Um, you know, this was really a, a huge breakthrough for the veterinary field because, you know, with pets, we really have never, in humans, there's all kinds of talk and, and research into anti-aging, but in dogs, this is really the first time we've ever had this discussion, um, you know, in our field about how can we help dogs age better. And, you know, this came about because of Protandem, because people were taking it and they were finding they were having great results. And then they started to give it to their dogs um, and their dogs started having great results. And so enough people started going to the company, um, telling the company, you know, hey, my dog's having awesome results with this. Can we make it in a, you know, flavored, chewable form? Because the hardest part is just getting the pill down. So the company listened and they decided to work with a veterinarian that was uh, that specialized in nutrition and they were able to formulate um, a flavored chewable tablet. So this is Canine Health, works the same way as Protandum does. It's the same five herbs in the synergistic blend. Um, they have added a little bit of collagen and omega-3 fatty acids to um, the tablet but it works the exact same way by stimulating that NRF2 pathway um, and increase these enzymes in dogs. And so it reduces oxidative stress uh, tremendously in dogs. It also supports brain, skin, and eye function, joint mobility, flexibility, and cognitive uh, function. I do want to mention too that it has the NASC um, seal, and that's a really important thing. You know, when um, people would come to me about animal supplements. I would always, I would never recommend anything that would not have this seal. And basically the reason is because the animal supplement industry is not required to um, show any sort of um, good manufacturing practices. They, they don't have to prove that it's safe. They, they're not audited, you know, whereas the human supplement um, council, they do, they have to have this NSF, uh, certification to be considered safe for consumption. Well, with animal supplements, there's no requirement for that. So in order for um, a company to get this NASC seal, which is essentially uh, a seal for good manufacturing practices and quality, they actually have to apply for it and they have to open up their facility um, to be audited by third parties coming in to ensure they are have, they have the highest quality and the highest manufacturing practices. And if they pass the inspections and the auditing, then they're able to have this seal. So our company, um, being what it is, um, you know, went through that process and they were able to get this seal for LifeVantage um, Canine Health, which I think is a really big deal. So some of the things that I use Canine Health for in my practice are, um, you know, are listed here. Um, definitely, you know, skin and hair coat is a big one. Um, it's funny because most of my dogs, patients that I would put on this, I would put on, uh, put them on it for arthritis or joint problems. And, you know, secondary to that, owners would come back saying, you know, look at her skin and hair coat. I mean, it's so shiny. It's so thick. I mean, she's having these bald spots and they're now we're getting so, you know, thicker hair coat. And so it's just kind of a, crazy thing that, that we started noticing after putting animals on it. So now when I see an animal that's having, you know, skin problems or allergies or whatever the case is, you know, I will use it for that. Definitely uh, increased energy and endurance is a big one that I hear a lot. Um, and that's usually one of the first things that people notice is that their dogs are want, you know, becoming more playful, going to get their toys and, um, and just seem more energetic. Uh, dogs that are immune deficient uh, oftentimes improve with it. We get better sleep, uh, better joint health and mobility, a huge one for my practice. Um, same with joint pain and inflammation. That's probably the most common uh, reason I start patients on it are the ones that I'm, are dealing with arthritis. Um, use it for dogs that have allergies. Uh, tooth and gum health is a big one. You know, I, there are a lot of dogs that come in 
that have to have you know multiple teeth extractions and um, and those dogs are all going home with canine health because it has been shown in studies to reduce bone resorption and uh, we see a lot of that with bad teeth. Also animals with heart disease, even kidney disease um, because all oxidative stress, oxidative stress affects all of these organs. So if there's a disease going on in any of these organs, um, you know, reducing oxidative stress is going to be beneficial. Also, the cognitive related changes you see as dogs get older, if they're getting a little senile, it can actually help with that as well. Uh, we'll kind of pass through there. This was um, really cool. This was the uh, February edition of today's veterinary practice. And that this is a national publication, veterinary publication that is pretty much uh, mailed out to clinics around the country. And I, you could have blown me over with a feather um, when I saw this. I opened it up to page 88 and look what it's talking about. NRF2 talking about uh, preventative things that you can do to help your pet's dental uh, problems or dental health. And they actually mention canine health by name on the uh, bottom right there. You can see it. So it's the first time that I know of that a major national publication has actually mentioned our product by name. So that's a big deal. And that's something, you know, this is going to start to be known in the veterinary community before long. We also have a canine study on canine health, which is really great, um, showing just improvement in uh, mobility and also showing the increase in enzymes uh, once starting it. So again, it's very similar to what we see in people in terms of blood work. Dosing um, is here, it's on the bottle, but basically you dose it on the pet's weight. And when we start getting into the large and giant breeds, typically what we do in my practice is start them on per tandem because it's just more cost effective for the owner. You know, going through three tablets a day would basically put them going through three bottles a month. And so typically any dog over 70 pounds, I just put them on per tandem, one tablet a day, and that's done great for those dogs. Um, you can give it to cats, and the dose for a cat is one eighth of a protanum or one half of a canine health. Um, the conversion on the two here, so you, you know, are at the are, is here at the bottom. So you could give four canine health. Um, I'm sorry, four canine health is equal to one protanum. So you can sort of do the math there if you have a you know medium sized dog and you don't want to give two canine health, you can give one half of Protana. So, you know, just depending on how many animals you have in the house, sometimes it's cheaper for people to use Protana and split that up between their animals. Um, these are just a couple cases I wanted to sh share with you, um, just sort of showing you a little before and after. Um, well, this case, I, un I unfortunately do not have a before, but this was the first patient that I decided to try on canine health. And this was one that came to me, you know, the very first appointment, um, this dog, they found me on Google because I did acupuncture. And this dog is a 13 year old um, female spade beagle who has severe osteoarthritis in her hips, knees and spine. Um, owners were having to carry her in and out to go to the bathroom. She required support while urinating so she wouldn't fall over. And she had um, a very severe uh, lameness on her right rear leg, really non-weight bearing most of the time, um, had torn her cruciate ligaments. So she was just an absolute mess. You know, the owners were not ready to let her go, um, but we were really having that discussion, you know, even at the first appointment of, hey, you know, when do you know it's time? And it was obvious that her quality of life was, was failing at this point. And, you know, um, they wanted acupuncture. I wasn't super sure that acupuncture was going to do the trick for her, but we decided to give it a shot. Um, she, these were her current medications, Medican, Tramadol, Gabapentin, Robaxin, Famotidine, and, and Thyroxine. So we started acupuncture, um, and you know there was a little bit of improvement. I would not call it anything significant, but when shortly after um, you know seeing this patient, I heard about canine health, and I knew that the owners would do anything. So we started her on it. And six weeks after starting, I get a text message from the owners with this video that I'm going to show you. And 
and it is sideways, unfortunately, but you can see there she is wagging her tail. She's running around doing this little jumpy thing that she did when she was a puppy. Um, they had not seen this behavior in years. And, you know, as I mentioned before, this was a dog that could hardly walk. I mean, absolutely crazy. I mean, I just couldn't, could not get over the results. And, you know, I was so excited to see this, that of course, you know, had many more patients after that, that uh, I started on. And it, you know, it doesn't always have these kind of dramatic results, but I would say that 99.9% .9 of all of the patients that I have started on Canine Healthy Pro Tandem have had positive results in one form or another. Um, really haven't heard uh, anything negative, you know, I might hear occasionally where people just don't really notice a difference, but, um, but the majority people notice a huge difference. And so every dog's going to be different and when you see those improvements, but this was about six weeks after starting it. And we were a able to wean Ellie off of a lot of her pain medications. In fact, all of them, except for, um, an, an anti-inflammatory that they would give her just as needed. Um, just to set this video up, this is Puff the Pony. This is a good friend of mine, uh, Alice Beretta's patient. She is an equine veterinarian and she had been treating this pony for seven years for chronic laminitis. Um, this pony could hardly walk, uh, was in a lot of pain all the time and the owners wanted to rehome him but they, they couldn't do it because they were afraid that it would kill him to put him on a trailer and make him move with his feet being as bad as they were. They had tried a lot of medication. They had tried going through numerous barriers to get his feet healthier. And, uh, you know, really, um, Dr. Bretta had never, never imagined this, this pony would ever walk even halfway normal. And, you know, so this was her guinea pig and she did a little video diary and we put it together kind of as uh, a little movie but she took this video before pro tandem, then four weeks after, seven weeks after, and then 10 weeks after. So I'm gonna play that for you so you can see the progression here. Okay, so that is it. Um, I hope that that has been inspiring or informative. And again, just uh, want to thank Jessica Crate for allowing me to share a little bit of my experience with you and my story. And I would love to hear, you know, any any stories you guys have. Um, feel free to find me on Facebook or um, through Jessica and. Um, you know, it's always awesome to hear other people's testimonials with their pets. Um, and also, you know, getting this out into the veterinary community, I think it's, it's just, we can help a lot of animals with this. And so that's what I try to do is share with my colleagues about what I'm seeing. Um, and, you know, they're, they're trying it and seeing incredible results with their patients too. So it's just an awesome awesome product. Um, if you have dogs and cats and you don't have them on it, I would highly recommend you put them on it, even as a preventative. Um, you know, one thing I didn't mention earlier is, you know, our pets are under much, much higher levels of oxidative stress than even we are as people. Um, they age much faster than us. They're, you know, being, they're eating processed food pretty much every day. They are getting chemicals put on them every month for flea and heartworm prevention. If they eat stuff off the ground, you know, and exposed to herbicides and pesticides. And 
So we really need to be proactive in terms of prevention because, as I mentioned, you know, cancer is very rampant. And if you can put these guys on something that can reduce reduce some of these um, things by for, risk factors by 40%, you know, why wouldn't you do it? So I would recommend um, that for, for everybody and um, people and animals. <laughs> so I hope this has been a good webinar for you guys. And um, thank you so much for having me on, Jessica.